Good morning everyone. So it's currently 9 a.m. and today is the day that I'm giving birth. After 9 months and 37 weeks, I'm actually 1 cm dilated and I found out yesterday when I went to my gynae. So we decided today we're gonna proceed with my surgery. I have fainting spells and you guys know that. So that's why I, up I opted for C-sec and I'm pretty excited but I'm so nervous I couldn't sleep at all like I slept at 4 for like 2 hours and then I naturally woke up and I was like it's today so I'm also in the midst of packing my house but either way I'm having some McDonald's for breakfast because I think that's like a sufficient and healthy meal I'm gonna have some like supplements later as well <sighs> I don't know today is like crazy so guys I just finished crying because I was reading through some messages and I got so many like well wishes. I was not crying, I was just tearing because I just got my lashes done yesterday. You know, I went and get my lashes touched up right before I came for <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Lash for always accommodating to me. I even got my nails done yesterday, got it simple. Thank you, Debbie. And I cut nails. Um but yeah, I just got a text that my surgery is pushed an hour earlier. So I have to start fasting now and I'm like so nervous. <laughs> I don't know, like one moment I'm crying, the next moment I'm like so excited. I guess like it's just super insane, really. I think, as you guys know, I, I share a lot on my YouTube channel the past few months about how I struggle with a lot of things through during the pregnancy, but I also forgot to acknowledge that I'm so grateful that, to be honest, my whole pregnancy has been really smooth sailing. She was supposed to give birth on the 18th, so my parents are supposed to come down then. Um, but you know, this is a once in a lifetime thing and I was pretty like sad, I was like wait, so my parents have to change the flights and it's so crazy expensive and stuff and like I'm so glad that they're coming late, uh, not today, I'm gonna rest for a day but they're gonna come tomorrow, so yeah <laughs> and yeah I'm just, honestly I'm so grateful like, yeah, do see I'm about to I'm about to cry. So guys, I'm finally checked into the hospital. So Thompson actually gave us an upgrade to a suite and I wanted to show you guys a little room tour before I give birth because this is the last time you're gonna see my prego belly. Um, this is my bed area as you guys can tell. Sofa area. Titus is sleeping here because that's where he belongs. <laughs> and then Very we, have, we have a sterilization area here and some snacks and food we brought our hospital bags we came prepared okay i haven't changed into my gown yet because now it's currently 248 but we're here playing around so i'm going to show you guys can, can you do a, do a squat yeah <laughs> and then here is the toilet area um i think this is really cool it's like a staycay i feel very very grateful thank you thompson and this is the shower area I don't think I'll be able to eat tonight, but to be honest, I'm really craving some kueh lapis. I think I'm gonna rest because I think I have about what, an hour and a half. They're gonna come and like make me change and then do like epidural and stuff because I'm kind of scared. So I'm gonna sleep for a bit. So they gave me some stuff. But this one is what my gynae told me to Help wear. Me. It's like compression tights. <laughs> compression tights. I have a shower cap, some socks, and also a gown that I need to change into. So I'll change into it right now. So I'm fully changed into my hospital gown. It's now 3.51 and I think in a bit they're gonna come in to like um, start putting on my compression pants, and, I mean socks. Then we'll go into the epidural. <sighs> Why is everyone hiding? So ABC is here to help me film my delivery again. I'm about to go get my epidural done and like to be honest, I'm kind of scared. But yeah, I'm very excited to give birth. I think like, I know I said that so many times but it's really exciting and like, I'm just waiting now. It's like a waiting game so. Hopefully I will not be shaking and be able to hold camera and not like, you know, but I'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to the room now to begin the operation. Today is day two of me in the hospital. Um, honestly, yesterday I was so drowsy and tired, and I actually started feeding yesterday. So after my surgery, um, I didn't record much, but I haven't eaten anything. Uh, luckily, yesterday I drank some Milo and water um, at midnight. 
eating and it was good I'm having like rashes on my face because I think my skin is really sensitive from the epidural but now we're gonna eat breakfast so here is my food um, this is some porridge this is the first meal I'm eating since yesterday at 10 a.m. I am starving so let's see my mom always said to eat fruits first so I'm gonna eat fruits first so Dr. Tan is here Hi, to check on me and I actually just changed into my nursing gown. I haven't showered, but today is day two, so I gotta stand up and walk. And y'all, I just wanna say lashes is a lifesaver. I showed my papaya soup. I didn't vlog it, um, but it's basically like a soup that's confinement. It's good for you. I'm also drinking my red dates. I'm wearing my bangna now, so I got changed and everything. <sighs> okay, I'm slowly recovering from my C-sec. That's all I can say. So now I just fed my baby and we're going for lunch today. I'm going to show you guys what I'm having. I'm also having the confinement food, so we shall see. So we have here some fruit. This is some oranges, papaya and honeydew. We have a soup. We have a vegetable. We have a chicken. We have a meta meat here. And we have rice. Hello. So I have been sleeping well the past day. Because she's been crying and eating every two hours. She's a daddy's girl. Yeah, I think she's a daddy's girl. I have to carry her all the time. And she's an attention seeker. Number one attention yeah, seeker. Yeah, she wants my attention. Your name? Yes, Alaria. What are you doing? Happy, is it? You hungry? You want to drink milk? This is a day two update. I ate my dinner already and now it's again 12 a.m. because I've been sleeping. This is Elria. We just did her little feeding session. You see, baby girl is so Feed from where? drunk on milk. Feed from where? On my boobies. Oh, can you show that in the footage? No. <laughs> I've got see. some colostrum. So I also wanted to just show you guys what we received today. So I'm so, so blessed to have received so many gifts. So good morning guys, it is day 3 of me in the hospital. Today I'm having my breakfast update. This is some prata. I'm also having it with some chicken curry, um, some fruits and these are my painkillers. I just changed my wound dressing and that was interesting because I haven't seen my wound yet until just now. And it was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. I actually can go to the toilet on my own and stuff. So I'm doing okay. The nurses just came in for like a lactation thing to check on my baby and I managed to hand express with the nurse my first ever colostrum. Look at it. Okay, look at it. I'm drinking. It's like almost 30 ml of can colostrum. I'm a cow. Can drink? <laughs> yeah, you can try if you want. Elora, you're so lucky! Can you see the this little monkey has to be carried by me. Cause she'll keep crying. Hey, you want me to carry you So I eat now. He's trying now. to eat too. I almost slept much, you know. I only slept like 4 hours. Cause I went to the gym. My strength was like depleted, you know. I couldn't even like bench 100. Really? I really bench 100 for 8 reps. Eh. Then I think I can do like 90 for 6 only. It's like a huge drop. Eh? This is my third day lunch. This is my papaya soup, some rice, some fish, veggies, and some chicken with another soup. This update I just took my first shower. <laughs> After three days, I showered and it feels good. My scar is finally getting a bit better, but tonight we have a very special um, candlelight dinner that Thompson has prepared for us. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what we're having. I have the chicken and some sweet potato. And these are like all confinement food, so it's like healthy candlelight dinner. So mine is a salmon. Oh, and sitting down is so hard because my caesarean wound is there. But I think this is called choquette, so I'm really like excited to try this. And yeah, this is like our last dinner in Thompson. Time flies so fast, actually I think like we're just trying to adjust to parenthood. It's so tiring, literally. So this is well deserved. Baby is in the nursery eating because I just expressed some milk for her. So
So after our dinner just now, I just spent the night kind of breastfeeding. I know this video is everywhere because I wanted to keep it as raw and natural as possible to the experience that I'm having throughout my whole stay here and my whole delivery. So to be honest, I'm just so grateful. I think the past few days, I have so much help from the nurses, my doctors, my pediatricians, my friends who came and visit me, my parents who flew down. I'm just so grateful. Like um, today, I actually pumped a few times with my hands so I was very tired doing that but I wanted to do a little unboxing for all the gifts that I have um, to end the video here with lots of love and gratitude <sighs> I still can't believe that I'm a mom <laughs> so it's still a lot to take in but Thompson sent me a new beginning bag and they gave it to me on the first day so I haven't seen what's inside so we're gonna see what's inside right now first we have here some offspring baby diapers I actually am using offspring for my little girl as well we're gonna try this out but this is the newborn ones in the trial pack we also got here some Tommy TP disposable breast pads we got here oh it's a bottle we got a bottle here we all, oh my god, we also got another bottle which is a Hagen bottle which um, I personally use Hagen so yeah and we got more breast pads okay, we even got this breast milk storage bag oh my, I can oh, guys, I can claim a seamless nursing bra I'm gonna do this we also got some chicken essence which I'm gonna drink tomorrow morning so I haven't got a baby nail care kit and here is one we also have a body wash we have a liquid cleanser for her food washing accessories we have some baby wipes more wipes oh my god we have lactation cookies and we have a little splashes sanitizer that's all for everything that's in this thompson bag um they give it to you when you check in for mommies it's like a mini hospital bag from everything i see here it's kind of like everything that i've packed for the hospital but just some emergency extras we need some so thank you so much also i wanted to say that um this video most of my stay is at thompson so i just want to thank them so so much for this like really it means a lot Good morning everyone, I'm well rested today, um, today is our checkout day but I'm still waiting for the doctors to get back to me on my baby, um, I'm having breakfast right now, so this is my day 3 breakfast, I'll show you guys what we have today. We have some french toast with scrambled eggs, some fruits, yogurt, milo and also apple juice so guys i just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video honestly motherhood has been like a crazy journey that i'm still trying my best to adjust to but i just wanted to say thank you so much for being a part of my pregnancy journey so far um actually i feel like becoming a mom has been like such a <laughs> eye-opening and like you really do feel this love that you just don't know where it came from and it's just there so i just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting me um, and showing love to our video we actually posted the delivery video on our couple's channel so go watch it if you haven't and yeah make sure you guys like subscribe and comment below what kind of videos you would like to see and i'll see you guys in the next one bye